Coming up on our bat of insights, he sells snowboards and he loves to ride them. And he has big goals for the city of Arvada. Hello, I'm Arvada Mayor Mark Williams. I'm thrilled to introduce you to the newest member of the Arvada City Council elected in November. Welcome, John Marriott. We're thrilled to have you. Thank you. John, why did you decide to run for city council? Well, I had the, it was an opportunity to make a big difference in the city that I grew up in and the city that I have chose to reside in and the place I love and uh, couldn't pass it up. It was a great opportunity. John, what are your goals for District 3? Well, a couple of things for District 3. One, we are uh, redeveloping our shopping areas within District 3, and I want to be really involved with uh, making sure that comes out as good as possible. We have a unique opportunity to redevelop the whole north side of uh, Ralston Road between Garrison and Independence Streets, and uh, it's a terrific opportunity to, to really make the shopping areas what we'd like to see, as well as maybe incorporate some other things that uh, residents would really like. I'm very focused on trying to bring back some recreational facilities back to this part of Arvada, and that may be possible as part of that redevelopment. Uh, so that's one of the goals. The other goal is, of course, to do a really good job with our transit development. We have a unique opportunity with commuter rail coming into our district, and we've got a great opportunity to do a great job with it. I'd like to see us make sure we provide ample parking and great services for all the people who are going to ride the transit to Den Denver, but as well as people who may ride from Denver out to Arvada to come patronize our businesses and see our great town. Now, I understand you're a member of the Colorado State Trails Committee. What's that all about? So the Colorado State Trails Committee <clears throat> is a subcommittee to the Colorado Parks and Wildlife Commission. Our main goal is to set policy regarding the state's recreational trails program, and we also administer the granting of all the funds within the program. It adds up to about $10 million a year. You know, they gave me uh, a list of some of the stuff you like to do when you're not working. And i got to read it off here. You like to ski, snowboard, cycle, windsurf, paddleboard, ride dirt bikes, hunt, Fish, hike, what do you do in your spare time? <laughs> well, in addition to doing all those things, of course, uh, I've got uh, two children. We play, uh, play basketball and uh, soccer and do all those other things. But uh, we've always been a very outdoorsy, active family and uh, uh, feel very blessed to live where we live, where we can participate in all of these things and, and many others, too. That list could be a lot bigger. John, you, uh, you've talked a lot about your passion for outdoor activities did that play any role in the type of business that you run? Well, it did. I, uh, I got to work in a ski shop when I was in college, and I really, really liked it and had an opportunity to buy the ski shop I was working at when I was in college, and I did. And uh, so I've owned Larson Ski and Sport at I-70 and Kipling ever since. Uh, it's been a great place to be. It's something I'm very, very passionate about. I have a great time doing every day, and it's made the last 30 years go by in the blink of an eye. I'll tell you, my advice to anybody who wants to own their own business, do it in something you really love because it is really fun. Now, as I understand it, you moved to Arvada when you were eight years old, and you're raising your family here. Tell us a little bit about that family. Yeah, I, I, uh, my parents moved here in, when I was eight after we had lived all over the country, most recently in New Orleans, Louisiana. So I came here as the strange kid from a strange place with a funny accent. But uh, we've really found it to be home, and uh, I've chosen to raise my family here. I have uh, my wife, Angie, who's a retired firefighter. And we have two children, Jack, who's nine years old, and Sarah Jane, who's six years old. Both my children go to a shrine of St. Anne's School in Old Town, Arvada. And speaking of home, you have a beautiful home right in the heart of Old Town. Tell us a little bit about that. We do. We are lucky enough to get to live in the Kimbrough House, which is one of the historic houses in Arvada. It's right on the corner of Carr and Grandview. And we've been uh, spending the last 15 years working on remodeling that house and uh, trying to keep it uh, looking like it did when it was brand new. And uh, it's been quite a chore, but it's been a labor of love. And it's a great place to live. There's only one of them, and we are very lucky to get to live there for the time we're here. Well, I've met your family. They're absolutely adorable and wonderful, and you're, you're blessed to have them as part of uh, your team. I agree. I Very much so. When you were a teenager at Pomona High School, when did you graduate? I graduated in 1981. 
from Pomona High School. Did you have any thought at that time that you might end up on the Arvada City Council? I had no idea, absolutely no idea. And in, in fact, I, uh, like most uh, young people, I wanted to travel and I got to travel extensively when I was younger and always came back to Arvada, was always home and uh, always wanted to be nowhere but here. And uh, I really feel fortunate to get to be part of the city government that gets to chart the course for Arvada for the next, uh, next few years. John, I frequently comment that I thank the citizens of Arvada for electing the city council they have. You're going to be a great addition. You're going to be a great member of the team. Looking forward to your insight, your input, and what you bring to the city of Arvada. Thank you. Thank you very much. Here's a little information about our seven-member council team. We are elected to four-year terms. Council members earn $1,150 a month. We meet every Monday night at 6 p.m. at City Hall. The meetings are televised on Arvada's KTV Channel 8 and streamed live on our website at arvada.org. We always welcome your comments and feedback to help make Arvada the great city it is. I'm Arvada Mayor Mark Williams. Thanks for watching Arvada Insights. That's a wrap.